What's going on, everybody? This is Elder Jacoby Owens coming to you December 23rd. Full quick word on Wednesday. I'm going to be coming from a se several scriptures today, um, starting in Isaiah 28. Then we'll be jumping to Matthew 21. Then we'll jump over to Ephesians 2. Now remember, this isn't a Bible study. This is just a quick nugget, something to get you thinking, get you motivated. Maybe have a Bible study of your own or, you know, maybe ask the right questions or take it even further than what the Lord's doing through me right now. All right. And the scripture reads, because you have said we have made a covenant with death and with hell, we are at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. But we have made lies our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I lay, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. Judgment also will I lay to the line, and righteousness to the plummet. And the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the water shall overthrow the hiding place, and your covenant with death shall be disannulled, and your agreement with hell shall not stand, when the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then shall ye be trodden down by it. Alright, now when I read this scripture in Isaiah, it immediately reminded me of... Uh, Really, it took me to uh, Freemasonry. Uh, I had a lot of thoughts about um, the different secret societies, uh, Illuminati's, and I know to some people this may sound like conspiracy. You know what I mean? But a lot of times, as humans, we take our refuge in everything else. You know, we feel that if we make this deal with the devil, you know what I mean, and we can say it physically, or we could just uh, live in the way to where we're dealing in the things of evil. You know what I mean? We feel that de doing these particular things will bring us success, safety, protection. We feel that because I'm working so well for evil, that the evil will will bypass me. You know what I mean? Um, I've heard many testimonies of witches that thought because I'm so deep in this witchcraft and I'm doing such... Uh, the deeds of darkness that this darkness can't affect me but lo and behold the darkness does turn around and and abuses them as well after they after it's finished using them it abuses them whether in this life or the next you know um so many we make our we make our uh safety in lies you know we feel that in death we, we have a hiding place but the scripture reveals that He's going to sweep all of that away. Our refuge and lies will be swept away. And we're talking about lies. We're talking about anything other than this foundation that has been laid. And I'm just going to talk a little bit about this foundation. In Matthew 21, 42, Jesus saith unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures? The stone which the builders rejected, the same has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. All right. Now, being the head of, of the corner, we're not talking about the top because you can't build a corner without the foundation. So the head of the corner, we're talking about what everything else on the corner is built upon. You know, not the not capping it off, not the capstone, but we're talking about the foundation. All right. And in Ephesians 2, 19 through 22, now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are builded together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. All right. We're talking about the foundation. The scripture in Isaiah read that he's going to place a foundation. Everything else is going to be swept away, but that foundation is going to stand. And if we are standing on that foundation, we are going to stand. Yeah, we'll get sick. Yeah, we'll die. Yeah, some of us will be martyrs, right? But at the end of the day, what matters is our eternal man. You know, he can keep our physical man. He can keep our physicality. No problem if it's in his will. But what's really the priority is our eternal man. Because when we're in eternity, we'll look back at this life and it'll be less than a blink of an eye when we're millions of years into the future. You know what I mean? Our eternal man that will not die, that, that goes 
to stand before God after this this robe of flesh drops is what we're talking about here. You know, so just looking at these scriptures, having an, another look at understanding how we see it even in the music industry. They make their covenant with death. You know, they're putting out there um, before service on a Sunday I had with my family. The Lord bought to me music. You know what I mean? And how you, you say in the rap industry in hip hop right now, you have a lot of the same things being promoted, you know, sex, money, drugs, violence, you know, a lot of selfishness, uh, boosting yourself up, you know, pride. We see a lot of those things in different ways, but it's all the same thing. These people are all dealing in death because ultimately these things that they're putting out there cannot give us life. You know what I mean? Our spirit, quote unquote, spirit gods cannot give us life. No other a uh, uh, form of faith, you know what I mean, or, or even a religion can give us life, but the way of Jesus Christ is what gives us life, accepting what he's done for us on that cross, you know, owning it, making it personal like the thief did, making it personal, you know what I mean, understanding how messed up we really are, you know what I mean, and just accepting what God has done and then walking in the newness of life. This is our foundation. All else will be swept away. All else are lies. And there are other spirits out there. And I understand that these other spirits have power. I'm not doubting that one bit. But the Most High has the most power of them all. You know, Moses showed us that. Jesus showed us that in the through the life of Moses. The Pharaoh's magicians, excuse me, Pharaoh's magicians put out snakes. God put out a snake through Moses' staff that gobbled their two snakes up. There are other spirits out there. The enemy is a real enemy. The devil is a real devil and he has a kingdom and he has minions. You know what I mean? But we have to constantly be reminded. We have to constantly get into our word and understand that we are at warfare. You know what I mean? And our God is a real God. He's above everything else. Everything that sounds nice and fluffy that'll, that'll puff us up. Oh, uh, you know, it doesn't take all of that. You know, I can... Uh, believe in Jesus, but I can believe in uh, Hinduism. I can believe in Allah. I can believe in Muhammad and, and things of this nature. You know, I can believe in uh, my spirit guides doing this, that, and the other. Everything else is a lie but Jesus. All right. Everything else is a trap. And I know that sounds very closed minded and it's very narrow, you know, but Jesus said, straight and narrow is the way. Few there be that find it. Jesus is always coming under attack. Hardly ever do you see our scientists going after any other faiths, but they're always coming after Christ and they're always trying to attack on Christ. Science can even deal in or make covenants with death, you know what I mean, when it doesn't promote the true and living God. Science can promote the true and living God, but when you have a scientist say, you know, forget Jesus dying for us that we might have life, a star died for us that we might have life. It's absurd. But uh, hopefully that just uh, scripture was a blessing to you as it's been a blessing to me. Um, remember, it's not a Bible study, just a quick nugget. Maybe you'll take it further, God willing, you know, maybe to encourage you. But uh, remember, Monday's the Monday prayer, Tuesday's Testimony Tuesday. Prayer request or testimony, feel free to leave a comment below. You can shoot me an email at jacodio at gmail.com. And uh, Wednesday be the quick word on Wednesday. Again, God willing, of course, with all of these things. Um, until next time, brothers and sisters, be blessed.